Chapter 166, Lin Lang Tian When Lin Dong and Lin Ker quietly returned to the camp, it was still tranquil like before. The bonfire slowly danced, compared to the chaos previously, it was practically two different worlds. After returning to the camp, the duo exchanged a glance before stealthily intending to return to their respective tents. Cough. However, just as the two planned to return to their tents, a tiny cough sounded out, startling the duo. As they turned their heads, they saw old man Tao lifting his tent opening as he helplessly gazed at the two. Eh, old man Tao has yet to sleep at such a late hour. Lin Dong let out a hollow laugh, and to one side, Lin Ker's eyes also turned in their sockets, as if preparing an excuse. You two little brats, completely refusing to be peaceful, old man Tao helplessly shook his head. From his tone, he seemed to know what Lin Dong and Lin Ker had went to do. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong could only once again let out a hollow laugh. Forget it, go back and rest. At this time, old man Tao could no longer say anything about this, and could only wave his hand. Seeing this, Lin Dong swiftly slipped into his tent. You went to deal with that group right, upon seeing Lin Dong slip into his tent, old man Tao walked towards Lin Ker and softly sighed as he said, I really never expected that Lin Dong would actually be able to defeat even a perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner. Looks like he held back quite a bit in the duel with Lin Chen before. In response, even the proud Lin Ker lightly nodded her head. Her beautiful eyes glanced at Lin Dong's tent as she said, He is indeed very powerful, even among the younger generation of the Lin clan, he would be top ten. In the Lin clan gathering two years later, Lin Dong will definitely make his mark. That old chap Lin Zhentian is truly fortunate to have such a grandson at his age. Old man Tao sighed, from his words, one could tell that he was rather envious of Lin Zhentian. All right, you should also go and rest, we still need to hurry on our journey tomorrow morning. Yes. Early the next morning, while the mountains were still shrouded in mist, Lin Dong and the rest once again set out. From Lin Chen's and the rest's appearances, it was clear that they did know Lin Dong and Lin Ker had already secretly participated in an intense battle the night before. After another half a day of traveling, the mountain range became much quieter, while old man Tao's and the rest's expression turned increasingly serious. They had already reached the deeper parts of Sky Flame Mountain Range, the demonic beasts that run amok here was all very formidable. A little carelessness might draw a group of demonic beasts, at that time, even they would have to turn to flee. Fortunately, there was Lin Ker to lead to Wei. She seemed to be exceedingly sensitive towards the auras of these demonic beasts. If they were about to encounter any beasts, she would sense it beforehand, and lead the team as they very carefully took a detour. At times, even Lin Dong could not help but admire this woman, because even he would sometimes find it very difficult to discover these demonic beasts which were extremely talented at concealment. The groups deep in the mountains were already very few. Lin Dong and his party had rushed for half a day, and had only found one other group. After all, it was no simple matter to pass through the obstruction of numerous demonic beasts to arrive here. Of course, although Lin Ker had keen senses, there were always exceptions. Thus, on their journey, Lin Dong and the rest had also encountered a single demonic beast attack. It was from demonic beasts which had the strength of an advanced Yuan Dan stage practitioner. Initially, the team was a little panicked by the attack, however, they quickly steadied themselves. Though an advanced Yuan Dan stage demonic beast was not weak, it was very hard for it to pose a fatal threat to Lin Dong and his group. Therefore, after a battle that was not considered intense, three demonic beasts were dead, and their demonic crystals were immediately gulped down by little flame, which could be considered a huge compensation. After experiencing this attack, the team became more cautious. Luckily, another attack did not occur. When it was about afternoon time, Lin Dong and his party finally passed through the forest and appeared on the fringe of a huge mountain peak. The mountain peak did not have sharp point, lush vegetation spread out from the mountain, 
and one could faintly make out traces of an ancient building, made of huge rocks, concealed among the vegetation at the top of the mountain. Is that where the old tomb is located? As he gazed at the mountain top, excitement flitted across Lin Dong's eyes as he asked. Yes. Old man Tao chuckled as he nodded his head, sighing a little before speaking, however, the seal exists on the mountain top, hence, entering would not be easy. A Nirvana stage practitioner's work is indeed very refined. After so many years, the seal is still so powerful. Lin Dong nodded in agreement, based on his mental energy perception, he was able to sense an unusual undulation in the skies around the mountain top, which should be due to the seal. Let's go to the foot of the mountain first. I'm afraid that there are already quite a few people waiting there. Old man Tao chuckled. Lin Dong's eyes looked towards the foot of the mountain and sure enough, he saw many tents. He was inevitably somewhat surprised, he did not expect that there were already so many people who had arrived here first. There was truly nothing to say about the allure of this old tomb. The party hastened their steps, ten minutes later, they appeared in the camp situated at the foot of the mountain. This camp was evidently formed by countless teams, after all. The deeper parts of the Sky Flame mountain range were very dangerous. At any time, formidable demonic beasts would charge out. Even a perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner did not dare to set up camp by himself. Thus, everyone set up camp together, if a strong demonic beast were to attack, they would be able to join hands and deal with it. Although everyone were competitors, before they saw any treasures, they did not need to fall out with one another. The appearance of Lin Dong and his party clearly drew the attention of quite a few people in the campsite. However, when they saw the clan emblem on Lin Ker's and the rest's chests, they fearfully withdrew their gazes. The Lin clan was considered as a colossal existence in the Great Yan Empire, ordinary factions did not have the guts to provoke them. Thanks to the reputation of the Lin clan, Lin Ker and the rest successfully entered the camping grounds. As they gazed at the bustling atmosphere within the camp, they could not help but be amazed. If it was before, no one would have imagined that such a market-like scene would appear in this extremely dangerous part of the Sky Flame mountain range. To think that the Wang clan have also arrived. After entering the camp, the gazes of Lin Ker and the rest suddenly looked towards a high ground nearby. There were currently some people were watching them from that spot. The Wang clan. Upon hearing this name, Lin Dong's heart trembled a little. This Wang clan was also part of the Great Yan Empire's four great clans. His eyes also looked over, only to see a group of young people standing on that piece of high ground. They were playfully staring back, and as Lin Dong's gaze swept over them, it came to rest on a man at the center of the group. The man wore yellow and seemed to give out a noble aura. His face was handsome and his aura was extraordinary. As he stood within the crowd, he seemed particularly prominent. And, what caught Lin Dong's attention the most, was that he sensed a trace of Yuan power undulations which did not lose to old man Tao, Yu Shan, and the rest, from this man's body. Perfect Yuan Dan stage. A serious look swept across Lin Dong's eyes, these great clans were indeed extraordinary. This man's age was likely only around twenty-five or six, yet, he had already reached this level. One could tell that even among the younger generation of the Wang clan, this person was no ordinary character. Plus, this was also the first time that Lin Dong had seen such a young perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner. I did not think that even Wang Pan had come this time, as he gazed at that man in yellow, Lin Chen's eyebrows furrowed. Don't bother about them, let's set up our tents and rest. Lin Ker casually said. Based on her tone, it seemed like she did not like these Wang clan members. The rest of them also nodded their heads, before they instructing for the tents to be set up. How many groups of people did the four great clans send over this time? Lin Dong approached Lin Ker and asked. Four groups similar to our own, only the Wang clan sent over their younger generation members, to take this as an experience. However, each of the four great clans will send over their true elite practitioners. Lin Ker explained. 
since this old tomb is so valuable, wouldn't it be easier for the heads of these four great clans to directly intervene? Do you think these people will make a move so lightly? Furthermore, if one of them intervenes, the other parties will surely stop them. At the end of the day, it will just be a waste of their time. According to my knowledge, the elite practitioners sent by our four great clans should be the finest younger generation members. Hehe, <laughs> these guys are truly monsters. Even in the entire Great Yan Dynasty, they are considered as exceedingly dazzling existences. Lin Dong silently nodded his head. The four of them were indeed incredible geniuses. In fact, they represented the pinnacle of the younger generation members of the Great Yan Dynasty. Big Brother Lin Langtian and the rest should arrive here by tomorrow. At that time, this seal will naturally be broken. Lin Ker lifted her beautiful eyes, as she stared at the somewhat distorted sky, before she laughed and said. Lin Dong was silent, as his eyes faintly shimmered. Tomorrow, he would finally meet that man. It was a night without conversation in these ancient woods deep within the mountains. The fact that so many people were crowded together provided some degree of comfort. Even though growls from wild beasts echoed out quite often during the night, overall, it was still relatively peaceful. When dawn of the second day arrived, the campground became rowdy once again. However, most people today were very excited. Evidently, most of them knew that the seal would be forcefully broken today. Even though they had no chance to obtain the most precious item in the old tomb, any loot they obtained would make this trip worthwhile. Lin Dong sat on a giant boulder, with both of his eyes shut. Below him, Lin Chen and the rest constantly looked up towards the skies, eager looks filling their eyes. As they waited eagerly, time slowly flowed by. Just as the sun had reached the middle of the sky, from the distant horizon, the sound of wind suddenly rumbled forth. Just as the sound of wind rang out, Lin Dong's eyes suddenly jutted open. He could feel that all the Yuan power inside these lands were now faintly gravitating towards that direction. Lin. Lang. Tian. Lin Dong lifted his head to look at the northern part of the skies. There, he saw a red flash streaking through the skies like a shooting star, descending from the heavens. Chapter 167 the four top young practitioners. The red flash tore through the sky as it drew the Yuan power from heaven and earth. That kind of aura was exceptionally terrifying. When that red flash appeared on the edges of the horizon, everyone in the camp noticed it. Immediately, numerous gazes of amazement were cast towards it. Ooh! Under the numerous curious gazes, the red flash broke through the skies at a ferocious speed. As the red flash approached, the crowd was shocked to discover that the red flash was actually an exceedingly handsome giant eagle that was colored entirely in crimson red. That giant eagle's speed was extremely fast, its wings shook a few times as it appeared in the skies above bringing with it the roars of wind and thunder. While the giant eagle was slowing down, the crowd's gazes immediately concentrated on the back of the eagle. Clothed in green with his hands behind his back and his long hair drifting in the wind, he appeared to be extremely free and at ease. A look which subdued many of the onlookers. Atop the giant eagle, the man in green slightly tilted his head down as his calm as water gaze swept over the camp below. He then withdrew his gaze, because, there was nothing worthy of his attention in that place. Big Brother Lin Langtian has arrived. As they gazed at the figure in green atop the giant eagle, Lin Chen and the rest immediately cried out joyfully excitement in their eyes. So, he is Lin Lang Tian. Lin Dong's eyes stared unblinkingly at the man in green, who stood atop the giant eagle while looking down at the land. From the latter's gaze, Lin Dong could see how flatly the man viewed the people below, or perhaps, it might be a type of disregard. Of course, with his strength, he did seem to possess this right. Based on that figure alone, even Lin Dong could not help but admit that this Lin Langtian was indeed a rarely seen handsome man, and that kind of aura was also one of a kind. The eagle below his feet, Lin Dong's gaze was glued onto the figure in green, it was quite a while before his gaze slowly shifted to the crimson red giant eagle below. Immediately, his pupil shrunk. 
that was made by him using Yuan power, and is not real. However, this giant eagle seemed to possess not only form, but also a little of a true eagle's majesty. If I am not wrong, this guy is already at the Qi creation stage of the three creation stages. Hehe, <laughs> reaching the Qi creation stage at such an age. Lin Dong, this opponent of yours is abnormally powerful. The little Martin's voice also sounded out in Lin Dong's mind at this moment. Qi creation stage. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong's pupils abruptly shrunk. He very clearly understood what this level represented. Even in the entire Great Yan Empire, those of the Qi creation stage were truly first-class practitioners. Lin Dong tightly pursed his lips, stubbornly staring at the figure in green, before his gaze slowly lowered. At that time when he had first become sensible, he had declared that one day, he would take back the dignity of his father, which had once been trampled on. Perhaps, Lin Langtian had already long forgotten about the branch family member he had casually crippled during the clan gathering that year, but, Lin Dong would never dare to forget. This memory had not weakened under the passage of time, instead, it was gradually branded deeply onto his soul. Thus, no matter how strong this opponent was, he would never give up. Of course, at the moment, he still needed to firmly suppress the hatred in his heart, because he was still currently incapable of contending against this pride of the Lin clan. Lin Chen and the rest did not see Lin Dong's expression, their gazes were completely fixed on the sky. In the Lin clan, Lin Longtian's influence had practically surpassed some of the clan elders. In the hearts of the younger generation like them, Lin Langtian was even more like a war god that would never lose in battle. Under the brilliance of Lin Langtian, the rest of the Lin clan younger generation members were dull and colorless. Haha, <laughs> Lin Langtian, you've managed to beat me by one step. While the crowd was in awe of Lin Longtian's aura, a hearty thunder-like laughter suddenly rumbled from the horizon. They crowd watched as a golden ray streaked across the skies, while a formidable aura also rippled out. This aura was filled with haughtiness, yet, in response to this kind of haughtiness, no one dared to be resentful against it. The golden light broke through the skies, causing the Yuan power to surge, as it finally came to float in the horizon, transforming into a huge golden spear that was a dozen meters long. Atop the spear stood a figure in gold with long hair that draped over his shoulders. A domineering aura soared into the skies, as if it was a unique wild spear which towered over the land. The crowd stared at the figure in gold, which stood atop the huge golden spear, as envious looks were revealed on many of their faces. If one could look this mighty and impressive in one's life, one's bitter training would have paid off. Big Brother Wang Yan is also here. Several from the Wang clan stared at the figure atop the huge golden spear in the sky, as delight surfaced on their faces. To think that the one from the Wang clan this time is actually Wang Yan. Lin Ker and the rest watched the huge golden spear in the sky, slightly astonished as they said. Should it not be him? Lin Dong was startled as he asked. There are two exceptional geniuses from the Wang clan. One of them is Wang Yan while the other is even stronger, Wang Yan's older brother, Wang Zhong. Even big brother Lin Langtian fears this person the most. Over the years, the two have fought several times, but have yet to determine the victor among them. Lin Ker smiled and said. Wang Yan's strength should be at the form creation stage, a level below Lin Langtian. However, the huge golden spear below his feet is no ordinary item, it is probably a high-grade soul treasure. With the aid of such a soul treasure, he would be able to do battle even with a Qi creation stage practitioner. The small Martin's voice sounded out in Lin Dong's mind. High-grade soul treasure. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong's eyes involuntarily twitched. He already knew that soul treasures were divided into three categories, and the shattered ice sword in Lin Ker's hands was a low-grade soul treasure. He did not expect that this Wang Yan was even more grand, directly stepping on a high-grade soul treasure. Even if the entire Yan city was excavated, a treasure like this would not be found. These people from the great clans are truly treated lavishly. 
Lin Dong bitterly laughed in his heart. Since he was born, he had never even touched a low-grade soul treasure, while these people were actually able to possess one each. Haha, I did not expect that you would be the one to come this time, in the skies, Lin Longdian's gaze also swept over the huge golden spear below Wang Yan's feet, before the former softly chuckled and said. Why? Do you look down on me? Upon hearing this, Wang Yan's eyebrows immediately raised as he laughed and said, This time, my brother is at a critical juncture of his closed-door cultivation. If he came, the treasures from the old tomb will all belong to my Wang clan. Haha, <laughs> Wang Yan, I've not seen you for a year but your words are still as arrogant as before. Just as Wang Yan's laughter faded, yet another soft chuckle slowly sounded out from the horizon. Soon after, blue light filled the skies, as a rainbow flash swept over from the horizon. In the twinkling of an eye, it appeared in the skies above. When the blue light filled the skies, the crowd swiftly cast their gazes over, only to find a mythical windbird which was dozens of meters large, it flapped its wings as it floated in the skies. An extremely formidable aura swept forth from within the mythical windbird's body. A blue-clothed man lightly smiled as he stood atop the mythical windbird. His face was bewitchingly handsome, such that in terms of looks, even Lin Langtian was inferior. He held a deep blue fan in his hand as he slowly fanned himself, while giving off a graceful aura of nobility. That is the genius from the Qin clan, Qin Shi. After hearing Lin Ker's voice, Lin Dong once again silently nodded his head. Another fellow at the form creation stage, and that mythical windbird of his also possesses the strength of the form creation stage. TCH TCH, kid, don't be too discouraged today. Lin Dong rolled his eyes not feeling discouraged like the little Martin had said. Though these people were all of the younger generation, they were still several years older than him. He had the confidence that he would surpass these arrogant existences in the future. Qin Shi, to think that an effeminate guy like you would also join in the fun here, ha, you've even bought your Qin clan's mythical wind bird, truly well prepared indeed, Wang Yan chuckled as he shot a glance at Qin Shi. Didn't you also bring your Wang clan's great Luo Golden Spear? Brother Lin Langtian has already advanced to the Qi creation stage, if you are not thoroughly prepared, you will likely be stuck picking up the leftovers. Qin Shi waved the deep blue fan in his hand and slightly smiled. The corners of Wang Yan's mouth twitched as he turned to look towards the seal which enveloped the mountain top, when are we going to break this seal? No no need to worry we still need to wait for one more person. Lin Langtian casually smiled and said. Who are we waiting for? Didn't the Huangpu clan say they are not sending anyone? Wang Yan was taken aback, his eyebrows furrowing as he asked. The Huangpu clan is not planning to send anyone, but, they've invited an even more formidable person to come, Lin Langtian chuckled and said. Oh? Who? In this great Yan empire, there should be few who you would call formidable. Upon hearing this, Wang Yan quickly turned a little curious. He he, brother Lin Langtian flatters King Zhu. With the top younger generation members of the great Yan Empire like you guys here, King Zhu is afraid that it would be difficult to reap any rewards. As Wang Yan's voice faded, a spirited voice suddenly sounded out across the skies. That voice was extremely melodious and seemed to contain a special magic. Immediately, an intoxicated look appeared in the eyes of several people below. Such a formidable person. Lin Dong's mind was likewise momentarily dazed when the spirited voice sounded out, however, he quickly regained his senses, as amazement filled his eyes. Hastily lifting his head, he saw a green light sweep across the skies from a distance away before finally transforming into a green lotus. Atop the green lotus, was a wonderfully curved figure. Although a veil covered her face, those penetrating crystal-like pupils caused this area to momentarily dim. Chapter 168, Breaking the Seal The woman wore a light-colored silk dress, with eyebrows like jade feathers and flesh as white as snow. Her waist was gorgeously small while a veil covered her face, 
only revealing her clear eyes which seemed to flow like water as the world seemed to lose color before her beauty. A woman like this, and with such a demeanor, was rarely seen in this world. The noisy foot of the mountain lapsed into silence at this moment. Although the woman's face was covered with a veil, the faintly discernible silhouette of her face appeared almost perfectly proportioned, causing one to wish that he could rip off that veil, and see the beauty that would make a hundred flowers look dull. Such a beautiful woman! Lin Dong stared at the woman dressed in light colors, her bare lily-white feet stepping on the green lotus, and could not help but softly gasp in his heart. Among all the women he had seen, Sun Tzu was considered the most graceful, but before this mysterious woman, even she fell short. However, though this woman's voice was melodious and lively, Lin Dong did not see even the slightest bit of gentleness in those limpid crystal-like eyes. Instead, contained within was a deep cold that could repel someone a thousand miles. This woman was evidently one that was hot on the outside but cold on the inside. This kind of woman was even more difficult to deal with than those women with ice-cold exteriors. Who is this woman? Someone from the Huangpu clan. Lin Dong tilted his head and looked towards Lin Ker as he softly asked. No, colon. Lin Ker's umber black eyebrows slightly knitted together as she heard these words, a little suspicion in her eyes. Even she could not help but feel a sliver of jealousy in her heart at this woman's looks and demeanor. This woman does not appear to have an ordinary background, as it was the Huangpu clan which invited her this time. Her name seems to be Ling Qingzu, and as for exactly where she hails from, it is not something someone of my position is able to know. To one side, old man Tao interrupted and said. To be able to cause a figure like Lin Lang Yen to be so courteous, this woman definitely does not have an ordinary identity. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head as he muttered in his heart. Hee hee, so it turns out to be Miss King Zhu, Qin Shi greets you. In the skies, Qin Shi also gave faint smile to the woman whose lily-white feet stepped atop the green lotus. From the looks of it, he seemed to know a little of the latter's identity. He <laughs> he, I did not expect that you would also be interested in things from my great Yan Empire. Wang Yan looked towards the mysterious woman an undisguised passion in his gaze. In front of such a beautiful woman, any man would be moved, and he merely decided not to conceal it. It's nothing more than coincidence. Ling Qingzi gently smiled as she said. Soon after, her eyes turned towards Lin Langtian as she softly said, Since everyone is already here, shall we start to break the seal? Ha ha, sure. Lin Langtian gently nodded his head. The gaze he looked at Ling Qingzu with was likewise a little different, however, it was not totally unrestrained like Wang Yan's. The seal was set up by a Nirvana stage practitioner, although many years have passed since then, its might is still considerable, but, as long as all of us attack a single point, destroying it would not be difficult. Upon hearing Lin Longtian's words, Wang Yan and the other two nodded their heads. Less useless talk, let's do it. Wang Yan was the quickest to move, the sole of his foot stamped on the huge golden spear below him as the spear started to tremble violently. Resplendent golden rays swiftly gathered at the tip of the spear, before it finally transformed directly into an enormous golden spear made of light, that was dozens of meters long, as it violently swept forth. Boom boom! The spear flashed forward, while emitting a series of low explosion sounds. Its power was astonishing. Hua Hua. While Wang Yan made his move, Qin Shi, who stood atop the mystical wind bird, also lightly smiled as he gently waved the deep blue fan in his hand. Immediately, a blue wave rapidly formed before him, as Yuan power surged within it. Go. Qin Shi waved his fan as the blue wave crashed forward like a huge wave that seemed to stretch across the skies. Buzz Buzz. Both hands behind his back. Lin Langtian did not seem to move as a huge vortex appeared in the skies above his head. Terrifying Yuan power seemed to rush out from the heavens and in the blink of an eye, it transformed into a huge fiery red broadsword. Red light flashed, as it tore apart the skies and screamed forth like a meteor. Compared the Lin Langtian and the other two's attacks, 
Ling Qingzhu's attack seemed rather serene. She waved her hand as a petal dropped off from the green lotus below her feet. Soon after, the petal was bundled up in a rich green light as it noiselessly swept towards the mountain top covered by the seal in a distance. When the four made their move, the Yuan power in the area violently undulated, while the faces of several people in the camp was filled with admiration. Only those that had reached the creation stage would be able to utilize Yuan power to such a godly extent. Will one be able to utilize Yuan power to this level after advancing to the creation stage? Lin Dong deeply sucked in a breath of air. The power to gather Yuan power give it any shape with a gesture was truly mind-blowing. In the face of this kind of power, even Lin Dong was held in rapt attention. Although the current him was already able to defeat a perfect Yuan Dan stage expert, towards a practitioner at the creation stage, his power was still rather insignificant. To overtake these top-tier younger generation members of the Great Yan Empire, he still had some ways to go. However, he believed that the day would come when he would definitely surpass these people at the top. While Lin Dong's eyes were flickering, the majestic attacks in the sky had already heavily slammed into the mountain top under numerous watchful gazes. As these attacks neared, the sky seemed to distort. Almost instantaneously, a screen of light slowly appeared, numerous lines and patterns were drawn on the light screen, as if they were a bunch of bizarre symbols. Boom boom! The first to reach was Wang Yan's golden spear of light, which gave off a proud aura. The exceptionally wild and formidable Spear of Light heavily slammed into a point on the light screen, causing circles to ripple outwards. Crash! The wave formed by Valiant Yuan Power also quickly followed. Everything poured down onto that same point and immediately, the ripples on the light screen spread increasingly quicker, while the glow of the light screen also grew much dimmer. Boom! In the next moment, the Scarlet Red Broadsword arrived in a blaze. It ruthlessly pierced the light screen, and then, at an extremely slow speed, it slowly buried itself into the light screen. Burst. In the skies, Lin Longdian's mouth slightly moved as a soft voice sounded out. Boom. As Lin Longdian's voice sounded out, the tip of the scarlet red broadsword, which had already pierced into the light screen, immediately let out a huge noise as it transformed into an exceptionally berserk Yuan power. The Yuan power frantically swept forward, completely wiping away the symbols on the light screen. As the Yuan power gradually scattered, the glow of the light screen also became exceptionally dim. However, it still firmly stood, a scene which caused quite a few people to inwardly smack their lips. They did not expect that after experiencing the ferocious attacks of three creation stage practitioners, the seal would still remain so strong. Swish. While everyone was in admiration over the strength of the seal, the final and seemingly weakest green glow was as light as a feather as it drifted over. Soon after, lotus flower petal landed on the light screen. The moment the lotus flower petal touched the light screen, it instantly transformed into a thick green light and spread outwards, as it enshrouded the entire light screen. Kacha kacha! The green light trembled as a series of soft but clear breaking sounds echoed out. The crowd watched as cracks unexpectedly appeared on the light screen. The seal is about to be broken. Upon seeing this scene, many people were delighted. Some of them looked towards the mysterious woman in astonishment, clearly unable to believe that she actually possessed this kind of method, and unsure of which holy land she came from. Hee <laughs> hee. Miss Kingzhu's heavenly jade lotus is indeed not ordinary, Lin Langtian, Wang Yan and Qin Shi were similarly rather surprised, as they chuckled and remarked. Their gazes all looked towards the green lotus below Ling Kingzhu's white feet. I was just lucky that it had a little subduing effect on the seal. Ling Kingzhu gently said as she smiled. Bang! Just as Ling Kingzhu's voice faded, the light screen, that was already covered all over in cracks, finally exploded with a bang sound. An extremely powerful storm unfurled in the skies like a hurricane. Go! The hurricane did not manage to blow away the four figures in the sky. They watched and at the moment the light screen shattered, their figures simultaneously transformed into rainbow flashes that swept forth. In the blink of an eye, 
they were almost at the mountain top. The seal is open, quick, charge in. Upon seeing the four charge towards the old tomb, the crowd below were also madly delighted. Quickly, Yuan power whistled in the air as figures filled with power transformed into glowing shadows and swiftly rushed towards the mountain top. For a time, sounds of wind rang out across the mountains. We should go too. As they saw this scene, Lin Ker and the rest also planned to leap into action. They glanced at the Wang clan members, who were already charging towards the mountain top, before hastily trying to catch up. Little Flame, go! Lin Dong leapt onto Little Flame's back, as a smiling expression also surfaced in his eyes. Since he was already here, he could not possibly return empty-handed. He was indeed interested to find out, exactly what kind of treasures were in this old tomb, that would cause even practitioners like Ling Lang Yen to be so impatient. Roar! Little Flame let out an intimidating roar towards the skies, which shocked the surrounding forests. Immediately, it transformed into a fiery red shadow and swiftly dashed towards the mountain top, as if it were chasing the stars and the moon. The battle for the old tomb had finally begun. Chapter 169 Sudden Windfall A commotion instantly exploded on the originally serene mountain top, as everyone rushed frantically towards the old tomb. However, since there were several demonic beasts inside these mountains, occasional screams of terrors were heard from time to time. Yet, overall, most of them managed to rush up to the mountain top within a few minutes. Lin Dong did not rush in too quickly and chose to lag a little behind instead. Therefore, he managed to completely avoid all the demonic beasts along the way and safely reached the mountain top. Once he ascended the mountain, a large stone wall that was hidden within the vegetation surfaced in front of his eyes. Currently, this extremely solid stone wall had already been forcefully smashed into debris. Based on the haughty spear aura that remained, it was very likely that this was the work of Wang Yan from Wang clan. This man's strength was truly violent. Outside the stone wall, endless streams of people were rushing in red-eyed. They looked like perverts who had suppressed themselves for many years before finally seeing a naked beauty in front of their eyes. A scene which gave off a maniacal feeling. Lin Dong's eyes swept across the entrance, however, he did not see Lin Ker and the rest. He guessed that they must have already dashed into the old tomb impatiently. Nonetheless, this situation was just what Lin Dong had yearned for. After all, he did not want to enter the old tomb with them, since they would only restrict his movements. Even though Lin Ker knew a little of his true strength, he had other secrets including stone talisman and the tiny marten to hide. It was best not to let others know about these matters as much as possible. Huff. As he softly exhaled, Lin Dong's palm slapped against the tiger's back. Little flame roared, as it immediately leapt forth and jumped right through the entrance. As it dashed in, a formidable pressure immediately surfaced. Even though that Nirvana stage practitioner had been dead for numerous years, his lingering aura still filled this area, causing the Yuan power in one's body to feel slightly sluggish. A Nirvana stage practitioner is truly frightening, he still possesses this level of power even in death. I can't imagine just how terrifying he must be in his prime. As he felt this stifling pressure, a serious glint involuntarily flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. He lifted his head, only to find a spacious giant hall with dozens of passages leading into the depths of the tomb. Currently, several people were dispersing into the different tunnels. Lin Dong, enter the fifth tunnel from the left. While Lin Dong was hesitating over which path to take, the small Martin's voice suddenly echoed out inside his heart. Upon hearing its words, Lin Dong was slightly taken aback. Without inquiring, he patted Little Flame, before they transformed into a red flash and dashed past several people before directly darting into the fifth tunnel from the left. Even though there were numerous tunnels, there were even more people who had ventured in. Therefore, even after the separation due to the tunnels, Lin Dong still saw the figures of greedy-looking individuals hunting for treasure among the stone huts along the sides of the tunnel. Ignore them, move forward. When he heard the small Martin's voice, 
Lin Dong immediately dashed forward along the path without wasting any time at these stone huts. After traveling for several minutes at this frenzied pace, a glint flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. He patted Little Flame, causing the latter to quickly come to a halt, while his eyes turned towards a plain-looking stone hut in front of them. Inside it, he could sense an extremely powerful Yuan power undulation. There must be something good inside. This kind of undulation was something that he had not felt from any of the previous stone huts. Immediately, Lin Dong's heart skipped a beat as he swiftly rushed forward. However, when his palm touched the stone door, he was violently deflected by a powerful force field. There is a force field here, however, it is not too powerful. There must be a mechanism behind the stone door. Use your mental energy to penetrate and corrode it. It would require too much time to forcefully break through. The small Martin's voice sounded out once again. At a moment like this, having an experienced ally was highly effective. Lin Dong nodded his head. With a flick of his mind, mental energy gushed forth as it formed threads, which surrounded the stone door, before they rapidly merged with the door. Moments later, the stone door started to tremble violently, and to Lin Dong's delight, it slowly opened with a thud. When that stone door opened, Lin Dong immediately stepped in. A blinding flash immediately attacked his eyes, causing him to squint. At this moment, he realized that the interior of the stone hut was covered with a type of cold jade, allowing a weak cold chi to bathe the inside of the hut. Of course, Lin Dong's eyes only swept once across these cold jade decorations. Promptly, his eyes moved to stare at the piles of round pills stacked on the ground. These pills were the size of a baby's fist. Each and every one of them were glossy like jade, indicating that they were of excellent quality. Moreover, an astonishing Yuan power vibration emitted from within these pills. These are pure Yuan pills. Lin Dong foolishly stared at these pills which filled the entire room. Moments later, he could not help but violently suck in a breath of cold air. These things that were casually scattered around like beans was something that a Yuan Dan practitioner needed half a month to a month's time to successfully condense. The number of pure Yuan pills inside this stone hut were at least in the tens of thousands. If they were converted to Yang Yuan pills, there would be millions of them. Lin Dong recalled how he had painstakingly slogged to refine elixir pills, only to earn several tens of thousands of Yang Yuan pills. From this one could only imagine how shocked Lin Dong was in the face of such a windfall. This was akin to a country bumpkin suddenly running into a mountain of gold. Furthermore, he could take as much as he wanted. This shock only lasted for several minutes, before Lin Dong suddenly regained his wits. Without further ado, he immediately took out his Qiankin bag and spread out his mental energy. Under Lin Dong's fevered gaze, all the pure Yuan pills stacked in the room flew up and continuously flowed into his Qiankin bag. Tens of thousands of pure Yuan pills. This gigantic sum was probably enough to buy even a low-grade soul treasure. The thought of encountering such a wonderful gift mere moments after entering the old tomb, caused the excitement inside Lin Dong's heart to overflow. This trip was simply too awesome. Lin Dong's gaze was fiery, as he concentrated on collecting all the pure Yuan pills. To one side, Little Flame's huge tongue flicked out as it swallowed a big pile of pure Yuan pills. In the past, Lin Dong would be pained at such a sight, however, now that he had encountered such a windfall, he was too lazy to even take notice of it. Papa. As there were simply too many pure Yuan pills inside the stone hut, even with Lin Dong's mental energy, he only managed to collect half of them in several minutes. Just as he planned to collect the rest, his ears suddenly twitched as he heard soft footsteps. When he heard the footsteps, Lin Dong's facial expression instantly darkened as he violently turned around, only to see that outside the stone door, stood four figures. However, right now, these four people were staring, with their mouths ajar, at the pure Yuan pills that filled the stone hut. Moments later, their eyes turned red as greed gushed forth. Then, their eyes paused on Lin Dong, who was rapidly collecting all the pure Yuan pills inside the stone hut. Kid, 
hand over all the pure Yuan pills. The four of them were evidently in cahoots. They walked inside the stone hut, sealing off the entrance, before they maliciously smiled at Lin Dong. Under the temptation of these Yang Yuan pills, even if a creation stage elite was present, they would not give up so easily. People would die for money. This was a true saying indeed. Oftentimes, greed would overwhelm one's rationality. Lin Dong's expression did not change. Ever since the four of them had appeared, Lin Dong had sensed that among the four of them, two were at the initial Yuan Dan stage, while the other two were at the advanced Yuan Dan stage. Their combined powers made them a pretty formidable force, however, compared to him, they were still lacking. Small Martin, Little Flame, I'll leave them to you. Lin Dong laughed as he said. After Lin Dong's words landed, the small Martin's figure immediately appeared on his shoulder. It rolled its eyes but did not object. Even though it had agreed to ally with Lin Dong during this trip to the old tomb, it still felt slightly upset that Lin Dong had asked it to take care of these weaklings. Grow. The most obedient one was naturally Little Flame. When it heard Lin Dong's command, it immediately opened up its huge mouth. Meanwhile, the python snake tail at its back hissed, before it directly charged forward, bringing with it a bloody wind. That ferocious aura caused the four's facial expressions to change, as they quickly utilized Yuan power to welcome it. Evidently, they never expected Little Flame to be this formidable. However, just as one of the initial Yuan Dan practitioners was preparing to use his Yuan power, an extremely swift light flashed in his eyes. Immediately, he felt a sharp pain in his chest area. As he lowered his head to look, he found that a bloody hole had already appeared and fresh blood continuously gushed out. As that light flashed past, the small Martin hovered in midair while chuckling at the remaining trio, who were now deathly alarmed. With a wave of its claw, it once again dashed forth. Since it now had the perfect Yuan Dan stage strength, it could slaughter these guys easily. The battle was settled surprisingly quick. With the small Martin around, even Little Flame did not have to contribute much, before these four unlucky fellows fell to the ground. When the last man fell, the final pure Yuan pill inside the stone hut was also kept inside Lin Dong's Kyunkin bag. With a wave of his hand, he grabbed the Kyunkin bag and stuffed it inside his sleeves. Finally, a relieved smile flashed across his face. Just as Lin Dong was planning to leave with all the pure Yuan pills, a mess of footsteps echoed out from outside the entrance. Several people stood outside the door as they stared at the four lifeless body on the ground. Immediately, their hearts shivered as they fearfully stared at Lin Dong, who was inside the stone hut. In response to their stares, Lin Dong was expressionless as he directly walked towards the stone door. Meanwhile, Little Flame followed closely behind while emitting a bloody smell. When they saw this man and beast approaching, even though many people suspected that the two had very likely taken away the treasure, because they were not fully certain, they did not want to take the risk and attack this duo. After all, there were four bodies on the floor clearly warning them that the duo before them were certainly no virtuous souls. Thus, when they saw Lin Dong approaching, the crowd hurriedly dispersed to allow him through. Together with Little Flame, Lin Dong walked through the crowd at an extremely steady pace. His unhurried appearance shocked the crowds and cemented their decision not to attack him. That was dangerous. Just as he turned the corner, Lin Dong's taunt expression instantly relaxed as he deeply heaved a sigh of relief. It was fortunate that he was able to quickly collect all these pure Yuan pills. Else, if these fellows had seen them, they would surely turn crazy. At that time, he would be in real trouble. After all, even though his party was powerful, it was a pain for them to deal with too many people. After he heaved a sigh of relief, Lin Dong hurriedly jumped onto Little Flame's back, as man and beast left at a frantic speed. Compared to his calm appearance from before, he seemed like an entirely different person. Chapter 170, Ransacking the Demonic Spirit Chambers 23,000 Pure Yuan Pills Inside the tunnel, when Lin Dong used his mental energy to scan his Kyunkin bag, 
a dizzying blissful sensation immediately gushed forth from the bottom of his heart. 23,000 pure yuan pills, that was equivalent to 230,000 yang yuan pills. Converted to yang yuan stones, that would be, 33 million. Even if the Lin family completely exhausted their mining load, one wonders if they would be able to procure such an amount. If the Blood Wolf Gang obtained such a massive fortune, their financial position would surely catch up with the Thousand Gold Association. That alone would be enough to reverse the pecking order between these two top Yan City factions. From these examples, one can see what these 230,000 Yang Yuan pills represented. I, what a country bumpkin! What can 20,000 pure Yuan pills do? At most, you can buy a somewhat decent soul treasure or a top-tier martial arts manual. While Lin Dong was elated over his gain, the small Martin's voice suddenly echoed out inside his heart. With regards to this fellow who enjoyed bringing others down, Lin Dong was already used to it. Since he was currently elated, he could not be bothered to argue. His eyes scanned the corridor, watching the figures frantically pass by, as he asked, Now, how should we proceed? Go left. Now that you have gained something, it's time for me to benefit. The small Martin smiled, its voice betraying a hint of impatience. In the past, this so-called cave left by a Nirvana practitioner would be beneath its notice. However, now that it had descended from a phoenix to a chicken, it could only accept reality. After all, the most crucial thing currently was to restore its strength. No problem. Lin Dong agreed without hesitation. Right now, both them were on the same boat. Furthermore, after working together for some time, they had developed some trust between them. Moreover, the bounty gained led both parties to understand that it would be most effective for them to work together. After agreeing, Lin Dong immediately urged on Little Flame, as they turned and quickly dashed down a tunnel to their left. Right now, most places inside this old tomb were flooded with people and in fact, it was quite chaotic. Based on their appearances, it seemed like most people had found some decent treasures. Naturally, due to the huge crowd here, it inadvertently led to jealousy and the ultimate result was that once a treasure was obtained, a brutal fight immediately exploded. As each party called their allies, fighting till they bled, a rather sorry outcome. However, since this old tomb was extremely spacious, there were numerous complicated and intercrossing tunnels. The small Martin seemed to posse's an extraordinary gift for navigating these tunnels as it directly guided Lin Dong deeper in. At the end of this tunnel, I can sense an exceedingly intense demonic spirit undulation. However, don't worry, these demonic spirits are all sealed. It should have been the handiwork of that Nirvana stage practitioner. The fiery red shadow ran within the tunnel, as the small Martin explained to Lin Dong. Lin Dong gently nodded his head. Moments later, he lifted his head to spot a stone door at the end of the tunnel. As he approached the stone door, he was shocked to discover that this was not an ordinary stone door. Instead, it was forged from a peculiar cold jade. Based on the door's appearance, it seems like even that Nirvana stage practitioner had highly valued the items behind this door. At least, it seemed better than the previous room that Lin Dong had broken into. There is a seal on this jade door, and it seems pretty powerful, Lin Dong's footsteps stopped outside the jade door, as he glanced at the faintly visible symbols on the door and said. Yes, leave it to me. The small Martin nodded its head, as it once again appeared on Lin Dong's shoulders. Its claws swiftly danced, as a dark purple light swept out from its claws and stuck onto that jade door. Buzz buzz. That dark purple light seemed to possess an extremely powerful corrosive effect. As it came into contact with the jade door, those faintly visible symbols began to vibrate violently. Moments later, with a kachok sound, all of them exploded. Rumble rumble. As the symbols split open, that tightly shut stone door also slowly began to open. Bang! Lin Dong slightly narrowed his eyes as he looked at the slowly opening stone door. As he took his first step in, 
an exceedingly powerful energy undulation immediately gushed forth from behind that stone door and forcefully jolted him back a few steps. Don't panic. This place has been sealed for too long and some energy has accumulated. The small Martin laughed before it impatiently dashed in, while Lin Dong and Little Flame swiftly followed. After they stepped inside, a pretty spacious stone chamber appeared before of Lin Dong's eyes. The four walls of the stone chamber were filled with all sorts of mysterious symbols, and there were several light balls floating inside. These, they are all demonic spirits. As Lin Dong looked at the hundreds of light balls, astonishment slowly surfaced in his eyes. That was because he discovered that hidden inside each of these light balls was a sleeping demonic spirit. Ha <laughs> ha! When it saw all these sealed demonic spirits, the small Martin could not help but let out a hearty laughter. Then, it turned towards and tapped on the wall, as the jade door once again slowly began to close. Immediately, it pointed at a protrusion on the wall that resembled a jade sphere, Lin Dong, I will collect these demonic spirits. Help me prevent others from entering. The seal on the jade door has already been broken by you. When too many people arrive, I am afraid I can't hold out for long. Lin Dong furrowed his eyebrows as he said. Don't worry, once you pour Yuan power in, you will be able to reactivate the seal. Try your best to hold on for a while. The small Martin waved its claw. Since it knew that time was of the essence, without further ado, its figure flashed as it jumped into the air. As its claws waved, a slowly spinning black hole began to surface on its palm. Once that black hole appeared, it immediately swallowed the demonic spirits. After witnessing this situation, Lin Dong felt helpless and could only quietly obey, as he poured his Yuan power into that jade ball. Then, the stone door once again slowly began rumble shut, as a faint energy barrier resurfaced. Growl. While Lin Dong was preparing to defend, to one side, Little Flame suddenly growled deeply. Then, to the astonishment of Lin Dong, it dashed inside the stone room, opening its mouth to swallow one of the light balls containing a sealed demonic spirit. You stupid tiger, how dare you snatch this Grandpa Martin's demonic spirits? When the small Martin saw Little Flame's actions, its eyeballs almost popped out as it furiously said. Growl. Little Flame growled at the small Martin and ignored it. Little Flame was quite intelligent as well, hence, it naturally knew consuming these demonic spirits would be extremely beneficial for it. Quit your yapping. There are so many demonic spirits here, are they not enough for you? Stop wasting time, once others rush in, all the demonic spirits here will be taken away. When he saw the small Martin in conflict with Little Flame over these demonic spirits, Lin Dong did not know whether to laugh or to cry as he intervened. God damn it, all right. I will let this stupid tiger win. After hearing these words, the small Martin cursed out in pain. Then, ignoring Little Flame, it hurriedly collected all the demonic spirits. Right now, it had no time to refine them one by one. Therefore, it could only collect them first, before slowly refining them at a later time. Thus, inside the spacious stone chamber, a Martin and a tiger, were now collecting and swallowing all these sealed demonic spirits. To one side, Lin Dong could see that even though Little Flame was swallowing them one by one, it evidently did not refine them. Therefore, one wonders where all these swallowed demonic spirits had disappeared to. Boom! This pace continued for several minutes. Just as Lin Dong could not help but want to tell them to hurry up again, that tightly shut jade door suddenly shook violently. Someone is outside, they are attacking the jade door. This sudden change caused Lin Dong to panic as he hurriedly warned them, before hastily pouring more Yuan power into the jade ball in order to defend against these intruders. When it heard Lin Dong's warning, the small Martin was startled as it hurriedly increased its pace. Boom boom. The large noises outside the stone door became increasingly frantic. It seemed like quite a few people were attracted by this ongoing commotion. Under this kind of pressure, the Yuan power inside Lin Dong's Yuan Dan continuously gushed forth like a tidal wave. At this rate, he would not hold out for long. Immediately, 
he gritted his teeth, and directly took out a pure Yuan pill from his Kyunkin bag before stuffing it into his mouth. Since he had obtained such a windfall, he did not mind this little expenditure. The pure Yuan pills obtained from the old tomb was extremely potent. Without much need for any further refining, it could be directly transformed to Yuan power for use. Therefore, Lin Dong was barely managed to hang on through frantically gulping down pure Yuan pills. However, based on his flushed face, his situation was not good. Damn it, are you guys done yet? After persevering for several minutes, Lin Dong could not help but growl. Every vibration from that jade ball caused his arms to ache. It's done. The small Martin once again waved its hand, as it sucked a light ball into its black hole. Then, it retrieved the black hole with its claw and said, Let's head this way, we can directly exit here. After hearing these words, Lin Dong instantly felt a sense of relief. As he turned to run, he saw that there were still several light balls inside the stone room. Ha <laughs> ha, these are a present for those guys, the small Martin hovered near another stone door. After breaking the door with a single blow from its claw, it jabbed out with its claw as numerous dark purple light beams swept forth and heavily slammed onto these light balls. Bang! When that dark purple light beam hit these light balls, the seal on these light balls were instantly dissolved. Immediately, Lin Dong sensed the demonic spirits sealed within slowly awaken. Bang! Just as these demonic spirits awakened, that continuously shaking jade door suddenly exploded, as a mass of black heads rushed in like a tidal wave. When he saw this scene, Lin Dong's heart began to pity these fellows who had painstakingly broken in. Then, he deftly dashed through the door, Little Flame, and the small Martin swiftly following behind as that stone door began to rumble shut again. Nonetheless, Lin Dong could still faintly hear a few miserable cries from inside the room. That fellow is simply too cruel. When he heard these screams, Lin Dong could not help but let out a bitter laugh as he turned to look at the small Martin on his shoulder. Not only had this fellow ransacked practically all the demonic spirits, it had also left a massive headache for those behind.